sequenced arpeggios. Um, we're going to start with a G major arpeggio that I'm going to sequence. And um, this is, a, I think it's a pretty unique concept. This is something that I came up with um, through practicing. I've never seen anybody else do it or heard anybody else do it. But it, it came from uh, my love of classical violin stuff and um, just how violinists can do all these big cascading arpeggio ideas. And I was on the search for that because a, a lot of times sweeping can be very limited when it comes to sequencing ideas. But I, I came across this idea and, um, well, let's just get busy with it. It's based around a fifth string root G major shape, which looks like this. <laughs> Just a good old like fifth string root bar chord, and then you just add your okay. So, uh, f so here's the breakdown. Um, I'm gonna start by sweeping just three strings. It's gonna go like this. And to get this sequence really fast and clean, the fingerings are not really uh, conventional, so it's going to take a little bit of practicing to get these down. We're going to start with index, pinky, middle, index, pinky. Now, the reason I don't do uh, a middle bar is because I don't want to do this stretch from my middle to pinky. So I'm going to go middle and then come underneath, kind of do a little walk under or walk over. To get that shape in there. So, as you can see, you can get some really killer speed with it. So, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in one more string. So, we're gonna do index pinky, middle, middle, index pinky. So, this time I am gonna bar the fourth and third string, but when it gets time for the second string, I bring in the index finger for clarity because, again, I don't wanna be doing something weird like that. So, so now we got And as far as the picking goes, it's going to be up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, pull off, up, up, down, hammer, down, 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 up, pull off, up, 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 down, hammer. And then I'm going to add in the third part. So up, down, sorry, up, down, 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 up. So those three parts together. And as you can see, that's really pretty cool. <laughs> and we're going to add one more finger twister um, to top this baby off. And this is probably the hardest part of it. We're going to extend up into another position, just repeating the first idea. So, so you get index, pinky, middle, index, ring, middle, index. So we got this. And that's really kind of weird. Um, but for me, when I'm sweeping, I want to do as little barring as possible because barring is the hardest part of sweeping as far as getting notes to sound individual. And that's the whole idea when you're doing an arpeggio. The definition of an arpeggio is to play the notes one at a time. As soon as you start to hear notes blending in, then it's starting to sound more like a chord or an arpeggiated chord and not an arpeggio. <laughs> That's the last part, so we'll tie it all together. And there you have it.